Hey guys, what's going on? Adam from Seg's R6, welcome back to the channel. Now the lighting is a bit sucky here, I'm afraid guys, because it is night time, I am filming this at night. Kids are finally asleep, so I've finally got some time to come into the snake room, uninterrupted, and film a bit of a video for you guys. Now today's video guys, quite simple, it's just a quick update on the incubator. As you know, if you've been following the channel, that I have started to use perlite. Now I'd always used vermiculite before, uh, but found it just too messy, especially when you know you're cutting eggs and babies are in it, and it, it's just it was horrendous. Um, so I thought I'd use perlite. I thought it would look better. Thought it would be less, you know, sort of less messy, um, and I'm sure that would be the case. But uh, I've noticed quite a bit of mould growing because um, I'm using. I'll show you what I'm using. I'm using these um, sort of golf tees. Now they are wood, obviously, so I'm going to attract mould, I suppose, being an organic matter. Um, but I've been using these stuck into the um, uh, the light diffuser or the egg crate um, just to hold the eggs in place. And at the top of these, it's been really collecting mould. And when I pull them out, the mould is going all the way down the stem. Um, obviously the mould's coming up through the perlite uh, and affecting these. Um, now it hasn't touched the eggs yet. Although I have lost an egg, uh, but that's unrelated. That was that was just an egg that wasn't fertile. It's going green from the inside. Um, now I've already thrown that out because I threw it away this morning when I noticed it. Didn't think to get it on camera for you guys, so I do apologise. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to go back to vermiculite. So I ordered a massive bag of vermiculite. I didn't think it would actually be the size it was, but the bag is blooming huge. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so I changed all the egg boxes over to vermiculite, including the ones that had the two clutches in. Um, what I'd done, I'd done it first thing this morning, uh, and then I left the eggs, or the egg, or the boxes, um, with the new vermiculite in the incubator all day just to get the temperature back up. Uh, now it's sitting perfectly. Um, so I've repositioned the eggs into the vermiculite now, and I just think, you know, because before when I used vermiculite, I'd done it by feel. Um, and I did have some mold issues then, um, obviously making it too wet. In an incubator where you got, you know, we're aiming for 100% humidity and dampness and heat, it's a breeding factory for mold and bacteria. You're going to get it no matter you know what you do, I suppose. Um, but like I said, I used to do it by a lot by feel. I never actually used to weigh it. Um, now I watched Paul Milner's from Over Constricted video uh, the other day, and he was. You know, putting an empty tub on some scales, he was putting X amount of grams of vermiculite and then matching it with water. That's exactly what I done. I wish I'd have got it on camera, but I didn't even think to turn the camera on. I don't know why. I wasn't even planning to do a video today. Um, but now I found myself with some free time. I was pretty bored, so I thought I'd come and do some filming. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done now. And now the, temp, uh, the consistency is, it is pretty much perfect. Now I shouldn't get any mold problems now. Uh, and if I do, um, obviously I'll be right on top of it. But, you know, using these, um, it just didn't work out. There was just too much mold. Um, and obviously with vermiculite, you know, I'm going straight into the actual substrate. I'm not using an egg crate now. Um, so they're sort of redundant. Don't need them anymore. Um, do you know what? I'm going to lose them now. I'm going to... Ah, got one back. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to show you those egg boxes now. Uh, and show you what I mean. Uh, and show you that massive bag of um, uh, vermiculite that came in. And obviously I'm probably assuming that you've clicked on this thumbnail. Uh, on this video because of the thumbnail. Um, it's, it's not clickbait. But it is clickbait but it's not clickbait, but it kind of is clickbait. Anyway, I'll explain all that after we've shown you the egg boxes. Guys, this is the egg box as it looks right now. Um, as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beautiful eggs in that clutch. Um, and I've gone for the slightly uh, chunkier um, coarse um, vermiculite. I just think it looks better and it is less messy. When you've got that really fine grade stuff, that's when it gets everywhere. Um, so that's what I've done, guys partially buried each egg um, just like that uh, and that's a perfect consistency of water so I put 200 grams of vermiculite into these boxes that's what this box well as you can see um, that's a good sort of two inches of substrate uh, and then 200 grams of water um, so that's what I pretty much did copied Mr Milner from Urban Constrictors 
Um, and I'll show you this. We'll quickly pop those back because I don't want them obviously to be out of the incubator for too long. Just sort of do this really carefully one handed. And back in there we go. So coming over here guys, this is this massive bag and the lighting is really bad because you see it is night time. Um, it's a hundred litre bag of vermiculite and obviously come in this massive box and I've kept it in the box obviously because it's just extra protection in case of spillages. Um, and as you can see there is uh, the nice chunky vermiculite. I do recommend this over the fine stuff. It's just a lot easier to manage I think. Um, it's quite dusty isn't it? Um, but yeah, I've now filled all my egg boxes and I've still got a massive hundred litre bag pretty much full to the top um well probably three quarters of the stuff in there left um and no more egg boxes to use but i'll keep some anyway just in case i have any issues with any of the egg boxes any mold etc etc so guys there's not much to show you in terms of updates on the actual snakes uh it was feed night tonight again i don't know why i didn't get my camera out to film that for you guys it would have made excellent content who doesn't love a feeding video um but I get stuck in my ways, I get sort of um, preoccupied and I just go, 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 go. And I do forget sometimes to actually get some footage for you. So I do apologise for that. Next time I'll definitely get some feeding footage. Um, but everyone ate um, by the ones that I expected not to eat due to uh, being where they are in the breeding cycle. Uh, I've got one male that's not eating, all the other males are eating fantastically. Everyone in this rack is eating perfectly as well. Um, some awesome, awesome um, updates to come in this rack very, very soon. Some new pickups coming once we can get out of the house and get this lockdown over. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I do hope you're keeping safe. I do hope you're not becoming complacent. It is lovely weather here in the UK. Very easy to just forget, go out, you know, be sociable. But please, please, please don't. Um, it, it, now more than ever, um, it if we become too complacent and we go out and we start mixing, all the hard work of this lockdown that we've been doing is going to be for nothing. And that's none of us want that. It's absolutely imperative that we keep to the guidelines still until the government tell us we can do otherwise. So guys, you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail. Uh, I am going to the Reptarium. That is true, kind of true. Now, backstory. Now I was planning um, as a present from my wife, as an early birthday present, to fly out to um, Michigan uh, to go and visit Brian um, and spend some time with him there. Uh, the plan was also Miguel was going to meet me over there. He was going to fly over from LA and we were going to hang out all together in um, the Repsarium. Obviously now that's not happening. Um, if I can find a flight to Michigan, then <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it. Obviously social distancing is very important. Um, but no guys, that was the uh, initial plan. Absolutely heartbroken that because of this virus, I can't do that. So I thought, what's the next best thing? Hmm. And then Brian came out with a fantastic idea to do his tour online um, and do a virtual reality tour. Uh, not virtual reality, that's not wrong. A virtual tour of his Reptarium. So guys, that's what I'm doing. Um, so I am going to the Reptarium, just virtually, not physically. I know there's a big difference, but I'm still going. I'm gonna get some one-on-one -on -one time with the man himself, which is, in, you know, you, you can't buy, well, you can buy that because I've paid for it. Hmm. Anyway, one-on-one -on -one time with Brian Barczyk. You know, no one else around, not having to compete for his time, not having to wait for someone else to answer a question, ask him a question and then get mine in. And it's one-on-one, -on -one, me and him, you know, through... I think we're doing it through FaceTime, um, but just me and him talking reptiles, talking about the reptarium, him showing me his animals. Um, I am going to try and vlog it as well. Uh, I try. Obviously, it won't be the best footage because I'm going to be doing it on my iPad. I don't have a Mac, so I'll be doing it on my iPad. So um, whatever the f sort of camera can pick up um, is what you'll see. But I will be vlogging it, um, so I'm really excited to do that. I mean, it's a dream come true to be able to... And you guys in America might be watching this saying, it's only Brian Barczyk. Um, You know, he's a household name over there in America. Um, you know, he's probably no one special in that regards. You know, you're not going to get starstruck. Now, I'm going to get starstruck to speak to Brian Barczyk because he, like, 
you know, to many of us was the reason we got into this hobby, um, was the reason we got into ball pythons, into reptiles, into whatever, doing YouTube, you know, he's sort of the pioneer in the whole thing, um, and even other bigger YouTubers, like Miguel, will openly say that Brian is the reason that he got into it, um, so he's such an inspirational guy, um, and I'm really looking forward to putting my questions to him, I've got a list like that, although I'm going to have to condense it down like that, because I've got to remember it's not a q and a it is a tour of the reptarium so i do want to see the animals um i do want him to tell me about the animals um i want him to engage with me as much as i want to engage with him so there we go guys you know i am going to the reptarium but it is virtually um but hopefully once this sort of covid19 issue is done and dusted later on in the year i promise you i will be flying over there um, and hopefully Miguel will still be able to meet me um, over there as well so we can all hang out. Um, I might even try uh, and do it for the same week as Tinley in October if it's all back and running back then, up by then. Um, I think me and Eddie from Sunbury Serpents were talking about going to Tinley together. So we might actually try and do that. Um, try and do the Reptarium and then drive to Tinley and it would be an amazing holiday, an amazing experience, and, and what a vlog that would be. Um, or what, about four or five vlogs that would be. Imagine the amount of footage that we can get from doing that. Um, so that's the plan, guys. I just wanted to keep you in the loop of what I wanted to do. Because um, I know some of you uh, knew that I was planning to go to the Reptarium. Um, I would have, I could, guys. But this is the next best thing. Um, just an hour of me in the snake room, you know, with my iPad, talking to Brian on FaceTime, Wow, honestly, I can't wait. I'm actually doing it on the 8th of April, which I believe is next Thursday, I think. Wednesday or Thursday. So the video will be out probably a couple of days after that, um, or just when I can ever get it done between work and obviously family. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I really, really, really can't wait. And I do urge you guys, if you haven't done it already, he is only doing it during the lockdown. So obviously once they lift the lockdown in America and start allowing people into the Rectarium again, he will not be doing it anymore. Because um, he doesn't need to, right? Um, you know, all the details are on his uh, website. I'll try and leave the details down below. Uh, I think it's just thereptarium.com um, and you can book an online tour with Brian or you can do it with Laurie, 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 Red Laurie, Red Laurie, Laurie. Uh, you can do it with Noah. Uh, you can do it with all the other keepers, whoever you want. Obviously, Brian's a bit more expensive, as you'd imagine. Um, but guys, do it. If you want to do it and been talking about doing it, just do it. I mean, I can't wait to do it. Not just to see his animals, but like I said, to be able to engage with the man, talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. Um, I'm just like a kid in a sweet shop right now. I'm so excited and it, I'm gonna I'm gonna be humbled, I swear to God. It's just gonna be absolutely a, a masterclass from the king. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. A nice short one in comparison to most of my other videos. Um, I hope that uh, sort of thumbnail didn't get you too annoyed with, you know, clickbait. Um, it sort of kind of was clickbait, but sort of kind of wasn't. Um, I am going, but just virtually, as I just said. So guys, thank you very much for watching uh, today um, on this lovely Sunday afternoon. Um, we are very nearly at that 2,000 subscriber mark. We're less than 10 subscribers away. And as soon as we hit that 2K mark, I'll probably let it uh, run a week just so we don't drop back under two because sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. Uh, but I will be drawing the winner hopefully next week um or the week after should i say if we can get to 2k this week so so exciting so please if you haven't done already uh please subscribe to the channel check out the giveaway video uh i'll try and leave the link for that there or there um and also subscribe leave a comment ting that notification bell drop a like thank you very much i'm gonna stop talking now because i'm gonna go home go home i am home i'm gonna go in and have something to eat um, and have a beer so guys thanks for watching stay safe and i will see you next time